Hello everyone, this is TechPotate, commonly known as Halvor, and we're in Minecraft. So Mojang recently released uh, the new snapshot, 13W01A, and I've been playing around with the new um, comparator block, and made a few logic gates and circuits with it. So uh, first off, we have the AND gate, quite simple one. Uh, basically, all you need to uh, take care of is the uh, length of this signal to be uh, longer than this one. This one is just an inverted signal, so you'll get this effect. So if both are on, this should also be on, the output should be on. And if one input is on, uh, nothing should happen. And if a zero input is on, nothing should happen either. And then we have the NAND gate, which is simply just the same with an inverter um, at the end of it. And then we got get uh, to the point where we uh, get to the more advanced uh, gates. So here we have the NOR gate. Uh, this one is actually quite... Um, all the uh, length of the signals uh, are quite important, at least for this uh, particular lever. It could be longer, uh, but it cannot be shorter than this. So if I were to place uh, this one here, it wouldn't work anymore. Uh, let me just fix that. Uh, but if you have it at this point, you can move this uh, closer actually. You can move it all the way up to here, I believe. Uh, but to um, for the OCD, uh, I will place it there. So basically what this does is if both are doing uh, well, if, if this one is the opposite of this one, if uh, input A is on and input B is off, it the output will be on and the same opposite, if you do it like that, the output should be on. So as you see here, if both are active, um, this will be uh, deactivated, and the same if you have both deactivated. Then we get to the monostable. Uh, currently I'm having my sign over where I should have my input. It's really important uh, to have the input here, and not here, because if you would have it here, uh, the signal from for the uh, capacitor block, this is actually, yeah, the signal for the capacitor block will be the same as this one, so it won't work anymore if I do it like that. You see here, uh, oh, herp -a derp I have actually made it um, work now. Uh, I, I actually, yeah, I, uh, I went to earlier and used this design. And that's when it's important to use this, I believe. Uh, I have no idea why I use this design, because this capacitor is not doing anything here. So, uh, yeah, doesn't really matter. These uh, two uh, are the input blocks you may have. And then basically uh, what this does is just shorten your signal. So, as you see here, uh, obviously there's no output now. Uh, but as soon as I uh, activate this, uh, the output should be on for about, yeah, for four ticks, as this uh, capacitor block is uh, updating uh, with known uh, redstone ticks, so this is instant. And as you see there, it lasts for four ticks. I'm quite sure that's four ticks at least. Uh, whatever, let's continue to the next point uh, where we have the signal length uh, control. This is basically to uh, control that, um, say you were to have like a puzzle that uh, you had to press like four buttons, uh, or you had to, as in the case over there, uh, press uh, something to make uh, the signal uh, at a certain length. You would want to check if this uh, input from the uh, uh, well, the puzzle uh, would be the proper length uh, that it should be. 
So, in this case, uh, this is a really short one. It's lasting. The output signal will be one tick. So this is like the, the smallest one you can make. Uh, I need to press it. Like um, yeah. So, so if uh, the signal is uh, one tick, this will not activate. But if it's any longer, I think it's is it four ticks. Uh, I don't really remember now, uh, but whatever. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Here we have a sort of a puzzle, I guess. Um, it's a really simple one. If you were to press the stone button, nothing will happen. As the stone button uh, only outputs uh, a length of 10 ticks. And this wood button will give an output. That's the one uh, that gives the output of one tick, as uh, all of these uh, together are 12 ticks. This uh, redstone torch uh, is one tick, and this one is one tick as well. Uh, the reason I have this here is to uh, make sure the capacitor, uh, comp uh, comparator, whatever, uh, it does what it's supposed to do, because if I were to press a button now, uh, it would go straight through as this signal is uh, shorter than this one as this is three uh, redstone pieces here and this is only two uh, get away spider uh, if I were to place this here get away I said uh, oh for God's sake there we go um, so when I have this here it should give uh, like the signal strength of 15 whilst this should be uh, 13 so this will override the signal here and that's why it's giving an output of 1 here as this is deactivated uh, the last uh, tick of this button press uh, but that's all I have for now I hope you uh, enjoyed my creations and uh, take use of them. Uh, feel free to leave a comment regarding this or whatever you feel you might want to say. Um, also, thanks for watching. Goodbye.